Hi, this is Don McAllister, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online for Mac. Now, for the majority of Mac and iOS users, pages, numbers, and keynote fulfill the bulk of our needs for word processing, number crunching, and creating presentations. But there are alternatives, most notably Office from Microsoft with Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. I've previously shied away from covering these applications, but with the introduction of the latest versions of these apps, I think the time has come where I need to at least cover the basics of these three important applications. Microsoft has released brand new 2016 versions of all their Office applications for the Mac and iOS, and bundled them into this offering called Office 365. I think it's generally acknowledged that the Microsoft Office applications are more powerful than the Apple equivalents, but each has different strengths. For instance, for quick and easy layout, I always refer to Pages, but if I'm doing some serious number crunching with large data sets, I do tend to move across to Excel. And of course, there's still a large percentage of the corporate world using Office products, and although there is some interoperability, there are still occasions when having the actual applications can be useful. So let's take a look at Office 365. So this is the Office website, it's the UK version, and uh, Office 365 is actually quite a sweet deal. Uh, there are several different versions, and it's basically a way of bundling together um, the most common applications and some additional services, and offering it to you for a subscription-based service. So I'm gonna uh, sort of skip the business one, I'm gonna go straight to the home option. So if we go to for home and uh, under the home option, there is the, this is the really nice one. This is office for households. And this allows you to have up to five users and install the applications across five different machines, uh, five different tablets and five phones as well. Now, if you don't really want the household option, there is the personal option whereby it's for one user. And then there is office online as well. But if you want to have a look, you can just check out what's included. So it's either monthly or annual. Uh, you can try it for free as well, but for the Mac at least you get the 2016 versions of Word, Excel and PowerPoint. You also get Outlook and OneNote, uh, where it says here Publisher and Access. These are only available for the PC platform. And as I say, you get five PCs or Macs, uh, tablets and phones. You get the ability to install the uh, iOS versions of Office on five tablets and five phones. Uh, online versions of Excel, Word, PowerPoint and OneNote. Um, offline storage. So you can save your documents to your PC or your Mac but you also get access to OneDrive. And under the home option, you actually get a terabyte of online storage each for up to the five users. Uh, you also as well get some Skype minutes. You get a 60 minutes per month for up to five users each if you use Skype. There are options for students, there are options for business, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna sign up uh, on the monthly plan. Uh, you can, if we go to here, I'll say buy now, you can go to a yearly subscription. Uh, or you can actually go across to Amazon. You might find some discounted offers across on Amazon, but just be aware that it is a subscription service. I mean, the benefits of that is it keeps the cost low and you do get all the updates uh, when they become available. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy the £7.99 option per month just to try this out. I have gone with the annual subscription on my main Mac, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, sign up for this now. Now, as usual, I'm going to take you through the entire process. So we'll review and check out. And uh, hopefully this is a downloadable option. I'm sure it is, but we'll just go ahead and say next for our £7.99 a month. Uh, I'm actually going to sign in. I have actually got a Microsoft account, but let's do this from scratch. Let's uh, sign up for a Microsoft account. I'll rapidly fill in all my details and then we'll go to the next stage. All right, so I've filled in all my details. I'm going to go ahead and create account. Uh, I'm going to save my password in the keychain. Right now I need to uh, put in my payment details and then I will review. So uh, for now, I'll actually uh, not show you this bit. Okay, so that's now completed. I'm going to go ahead now and install. So I've got an option here to install Office. So we'll just tap Install Office. All right, we need to... Uh, Check my inbox just to verify the email. So if I go across to my mail account, that's not junk. And we'll just click on verify SEO demo 12 at iCloud.com. Okay, so now I'll go back to the original page and continue the installation. 
and we're now into uh, my account page. Now from this page you can see all the different elements that are included with your Office 365 account. So over here I've got the option to do up to five different installs on five PCs or five Macs, the five tablets and five smartphones. I've got the option to add additional people in to this particular account and basically they are allowed to create their own account and then they can install Office on their own Mac using uh, this sort of shared account. Options to manage my account, uh, options to activate my Skype minutes that will just take you across to your Skype account and add those 60 minutes in and then access to OneDrive so as you can see one terabyte of cloud storage for all your documents photos and other files and the integration with OneDrive is pretty smart in that uh, Word, Excel and PowerPoint have native uh, integration with OneDrive so you can store your documents directly into Microsoft's cloud get access to those documents from your iPad or your iPhone uh, there's also so uh, web access and there is also an application that you can install on your Mac that allows you to access your OneDrive storage as well and you can synchronize OneDrive folders with your Mac and the cloud-based service and then of course help and support etc but let's go ahead and uh, kick this one off we'll probably come back to some of these sort of in a, a later show but I'm going to go ahead and say install um, now you can install previous versions if you want I'm going to go ahead and install Office 2016 for Mac so we just need to press install to get started So as you can see, it will download, we'll then open the package file and then we'll sign in to, uh, to activate the account. So I'm just going to say close to this. You'll see up in the top corner, uh, we have the download. It's 1.16 gigabytes, it's going to take a few minutes. So we'll uh, let that download and we'll go through the rest of the installation process. While that's downloading, we may as well be doing something. Let's go back a level and let's go and visit OneDrive. Uh, we'll get into it via our browser. So nothing in here is yet. You can get some additional storage. You can get 20 gigabytes of free storage. Uh, you can back up your camera roll. You can sync from PC or Mac. You can also refer and get an extra five gigabytes. But to be honest, uh, I've already got 1.01 terabytes available. So I'm not really too bothered about getting an extra 20 gigabytes. Um, but we've got uh, recent files. Of course, these are all empty photos. Nothing in there. And also we have shared. Uh, there's some nice tools to allow you to share your documents with other people and collaborate on documents as well. And then you have a recycle bin. From this web interface, you can also get to some of the other web-based services. So if we go up to this button here, Outlook, which is the email client, uh, contacts, calendar, OneDrive, Word online, Excel online, PowerPoint online. There's also OneNote as well. Now I have covered OneNote before, um, might revisit that uh, at a later date. This new application called Sway, which is sort of like an interactive presentation type uh, application, and then access to Office Online. But uh, let's go ahead now. We see that uh, application has finished downloading. If I just uh, run it from here, and we'll start the installation process. I'm going to agree to the licenses. Um, I can change the installation location if I want, but that's not a problem. We'll say install. It's going to install all three applications. And we'll just let that finish. All right, I've uh, closed Safari, but we now have the option to close this window to finish setting up Office. So we'll say close. And uh, that looks like it. Oh, well, here we go. So what's new in Word? Unmistakably Office designed for Mac. Um, we'll go through some of these features. What I don't propose to do is to go through every single feature of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Um, literally, you could probably spend five or six hours going through each application. They are extremely powerful applications. I'm really going to approach looking at the applications from the perspective of a pages and numbers and a keynote user and sort of just point out the differences and give you a feel for how you might want to use them. So let's go ahead and say get started. We need to sign in to activate our installation. So I need to put in the uh, SEO Demo 12 email address. This is the one, of course, that we uh, set up our Microsoft account with. So it is our Microsoft account and then the password. And we'll sign in. Now you only have to do this the one time when you first set it up. You don't have to do this each time that you access any of the applications. But with any luck, right, we're in. Now it gives you the option to choose your theme, either colorful or classic. I'm going to stick with colorful because that's the sort of the new theme that we have. You can change them later under preferences. But we'll just say continue and we're now ready to start so start using word okay so let's take a look at the brand new word 2016. to get the full version of this tutorial completely for free 
as well as immediate access to over 500 other Apple-related tutorials, all you need to do is visit seofree.com to register for your 14-day no-obligation free trial Screencasts Online membership. So that's seofree.com to register for your 14-day free trial membership.